Hi and welcome to today's episode of J Man Can Allotment Diaries. What we're going to do today is, as usual, a little bit of progress on the video, um, and let's see what we can uh, do at the allotment plot today. And then last week I was going to talk about the advantage of the and disadvantages of a greenhouse. I didn't get a chance because the light was horrendous. It's starting to rain. It was almost sleet and snow. This week we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of a greenhouse. Thanks very much. Good luck. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I come to the plot and I take off the blue sheet and let's get started. Okay, so I've just taken off the blue sheet that was here and what I've realised is the ground is quite wet and soggy. Now we have had a few days of rain, rain and more rain um, but the rain seems to penetrate the blue sheet and come through which is fine however the blue sheet is there to stop the weeds from growing and today it's an absolutely glorious day I mean the sun is out it's, it's, it's glorious it's fantastic I can actually feel the heat on my face from the sun but don't get me wrong there is a cold chilly wind as well that occasionally comes through so today all I'm going to do is fingers crossed finish off bed three and once I finish off bed three I'll be happy I can then start thinking about what I'm actually going to put into the plot. Carry on watching! I feel like I'm just weeding, weeding and more weeding. This is horrendous. But it's a necessary evil. Let's carry on. Okay, so I think I've finished weeding. All I'm going to do now is put the wood in to make the raised bed and that'll be it for today. Okay, that's brilliant. All done. Just... Hiya, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, the work that I've done at the allotment today. Now I'm going to talk about greenhouses. This is uh, my greenhouse. It was left to me by the original plot holder. Um, it's in very good condition given it's not really been maintained. The roof is absolutely fantastic. The glass on most parts of it is okay. There's a few parts missing, but that's okay. I'm going to be doing some repairs on that. Now I'm going to talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of having a greenhouse. Let's crack on and do the advantage first of all. The thing I'm going to talk about greenhouses, one of the advantages are you can grow all year round. Now here in the UK, the temperature that we have is relatively cold and it's raining all the time. Having a greenhouse allows you to grow all year round in terms of the temperature is a lot warmer in the greenhouse. I'm not going to go on about how the greenhouse effect works, the heat comes in and it can't escape. But you can grow a lot longer in a greenhouse because it's a lot warmer. That's advantage number one. Advantage number two is by having a greenhouse you can put your seedlings in the greenhouse. So it comes back to it's a little bit warm. The ceilings can start earlier as opposed to having them on a windowsill or having them outside in a raised bed. You can start your ceilings a lot earlier on in the greenhouse. That's advantage number two. Advantage number three is you can grow exotic veg. If you feel you really want to and you think you're going to eat them, reason is exotic vegetables generally need a lot more heat and a lot more warmth. So you can grow more exotic vegetables so it gives you a bigger variety of what you can grow. So that's advantage number four quickly just saying bye to one of the other apartment holders very 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 friendly all the people at the allotment 
I've come across have been incredibly friendly. The last advantage of having an, a greenhouse is it's somewhere warm to go, okay? So it's cold out there, jump in the greenhouse, it's somewhere nice and warm to go. Or when, <laughs> when the heavens kick out and it's raining, you run in your greenhouse and it's really nice and warm and comfortable, or at least you get away from the rain. Okay, so let's talk about the disadvantage of a greenhouse, okay? If you don't have a greenhouse to begin with, they can be quite expensive to buy, okay? Especially if you get a glass one. So that's one of the things. Unless you can get one off, there's various websites. You've got Gumtree, you've got Recycle. There's lots of websites where you can get hold of a second hand greenhouse, but you may have to go collect it and bring it up. So that's one of the disadvantages of a greenhouse. The second disadvantage of a greenhouse is it requires some maintenance, okay? So if you buy it, or you have it, one of the glass breaks, you're gonna have to get some new glass, fix it up, whereas if it was on the ground, you won't need any of that. We do get some winds. Again, the winds come in, glass panes broken, some move out of the way, things are shattered, kids throwing things around, it does need maintenance occasionally. You might even break something. So that's a disadvantage of it. The third disadvantage is, it's a little bit warmer in the greenhouse, hence, you do have to actually have some kind of ventilation system. If you don't have some kind of ventilation system in your greenhouse, it's gonna to get too warm and you're gonna cook your plants to death, okay? In connection to that disadvantage, because it gets so warm, you're gonna to have to come regularly and actually water the plants a lot more. Otherwise, again, they're just gonna dry out, wilt and die. Okay, so I've made bed three today. Quite happy with uh, the outcome that I've done. All that's left to do is cover the plot back up and go home.